three, two, what's up everybody, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Real Ones Gaming Podcast, uh, yeah. we got a pretty good one for you today, um, yeah, mm-hmm. every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, we're here live on Twitch uh, with all of the recordings and stuff going on YouTube, and then um, the podcast will also be on Spotify, iTunes, and wherever podcasts are. Um, we mm-hmm. do have the regular, degular, uh, usual suspects, however, I do have a, quite a few announcements uh, to do, so I want to do that before we start um, introducing ourselves. Uh, number one, uh, I wanted to give out that we now have a mission statement. Um, and our mission statement is Real Ones Gaming strives to be a unique organization designed to uplift and support its community of content creators in every fashion. Real Ones Gaming believes that we must be the that organization that helps to produce the very best in each and every member of our community through passing knowledge, resources, and opportunities to each other. So that is what we uh, strive to do. Um, and I would like, I, the reason why I wanted to give that out to everybody is because I want everyone to remember why we do what we do um, and why this organization is now clearly an organization. Um, with that being <laughs> said, um, I would like to say that Real Ones Gaming is growing each and every day. We have a few new people. Um, that have joined our uh, team uh, within the recent days. And next podcast, I'm actually going to do a formal uh, introduction to them all. Um, they're kind of getting acclimated to, you know, the team and uh, figuring out the ins and outs and stuff like that. Um, I'll be talking to them this week to get them ready. And then next week, we will give them formal introductions. Um, we have new, like I said, we have new team members. Um and we have also revamped the Discord. It looks a little neater, a little better, easier to navigate around. I have to do a couple more things, of course. Um, there were some bumps. However, I will fix it. Um, we have two uh, admins now for the Discord, which will be Maya and KR Bridge. Nice. Um, and I am now introducing, I think everybody already knew this already, but I'm, I'm, I'm now introducing and I'm now making the announcement that as president of Real Ones Gaming and owner of Real Ones Gaming, I had to have someone that I trusted to be my right-hand person. So introducing my new executive officer, chief executive officer, uh, Miss Pinky313. It's the- <laughs> Yes. Because I was fired and rehired, didn't I? In the same <laughs> breath. <fired. laughs> I had to do everything professionally, and I had to uh, make sure that I formally asked her and that it was formally accepted. So her new title is now Chief Executive <laughs> Officer, Miss Pinky313. These house, shout out to Precious. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and we are also working hard uh, to start the Real Ones Gaming stream team. I want to get started by August 1st. So um, this week I'm going to be sending out information on exactly how the stream team will work. And then from there, people will pick out what dates and times they would like to do this. And there we go. What's up, Sage? Um, I'm, I'm truly proud of the work we've accomplished. And uh, I can't wait for the amazing things um, that this organization organization does in the future. Um, so with this podcast is a new chapter in the Real Ones Gaming book. So let's begin. Uh, introducing first, as we said, she is the new Chief Executive Officer of Real Ones Gaming, uh, Miss Pinky313. Say what's up. What's up, everybody? Hello. It is Sunday. Sunday, new week has started. Okay, new week has started. That means get your affairs in order. <laughs> what you didn't accomplish or finish last week, you finish this week. Get it all settled. Get it all done, y'all. We can do it. That motivation going. Yes, y'all. I'm your girl, Miss Pinky Three One Three. Also known as Pinky. 
to everybody else. Um, thank you again for coming uh, this Sunday again. And this is episode 30. Episode 30, y'all. We doing it. We out here grinding. So I appreciate y'all for coming and hanging with us and listening to us um, talk about <laughs> everything. <laughs> you are appreciated. Thank you so much. But yeah, y'all, you can catch me on my um, social medias uh, to stay in touch with me. You can follow me on uh, Instagram at 313 Queen Pinky. You can find me on Twitter as well as uh, Miss Pinky 313 Play underscore. And also check out my YouTube. Go ahead and like it and subscribe and, and share. I think that's how they say it. <laughs> at 313 like. Miss Pinky. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Smash that like button. <laughs> I'm, putting up, <laughs> <all right. laughs> I'm putting up some videos. Um, I actually put up a video yesterday we're going to talk about that in a uh, podcast so um i don't want to give you spoilers you know <laughs> early on in the show but yeah go ahead and subscribe to that and that's it all right and introducing next i know he's pretty happy because this week has been filled with nba 2k news uh <laughs> it's king aj what up, what up, what up? You know the voice. You heard this. You seen the face. You know the voice. It's your boy, King AJ, man. I'm back at it again with the gang, of course. And you can go ahead and find me on Twitter at King AJ underscore 15. You find me on YouTube at King AJ underscore, not underscore, just 15 is one big word. Find me on IG at King AJ underscore 15, where you can get the most of this content from me, from 2K, of course. And I just dropped another banger with, with a couple of homies of mine in the pro am, of course. You gotta go check that video out. And we're gonna kick it over to the left eye of the community what? herself. Uh, it's... You did it! <laughs> no, you didn't! It's not even all mm. that. But good afternoon, everyone. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are having a decent day. Um, yeah, you guys can follow me on Twitch at Maya underscore 97. You can also find me on the tweets at Maya with two A's underscore 97. And uh, yes, Mr. HR. Oh, yes. And I am so, Green SP, your lovable panda. Uh, well, your lovable, majestic panda, because uh, I'm a goddamn snack, Mr. Little Debbie Snack <laughs> <man> himself. <laughs> uh, green ass. I need yes. to pick up some from the store. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can catch me on the Twitter at green sp underscore r one g. You can also check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash green sp underscore, and you can check me out on Instagram, green sp underscore r one g. You can check me out uh, on YouTube as well. I've been posting some videos. I got like at least three or four that I got to do. Oh now. man, it's it's been more than that, y'all. My <laughs> notifications for this man YouTube have been popping. I'm like, sir, calm down. <laughs> yeah, I, I just I, when I see something and I get a good game going, I do it. I still have um, the Last of Us series that I need to start posting. The only reason why I haven't is because I haven't finished it on Twitch yet. Um, and I made a promise that I would only play it if I'm streaming it um, to get the reactions and stuff like that. And so that the community can, community can actually go through it with me and kind of see the game for what it is. Um, a masterpiece. So um, I'll s probably start posting the first couple episodes pretty soon. Um, also on my channel on Twitch... Some of you probably already know, but Mrs. Panda has now started playing uh, Call of Duty. Um, so I'm teaching her how to play the Call of Duty. Um, I think we're supposed to be streaming it t tonight as well. Um, but we might not play Call of Duty. We might play something else. Just to get her kind of used to the controllers and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and then I've been working on Real Ones Gaming and getting people in and making sure they're comfortable. <laughs> Working on business moves and stuff. So, um, you know, uh, like I said, next week will be the introduction to uh, a larger team. Hopefully, we get some more people this week, too. So, uh, 
And Sage, I saw that false accusation uh, uh, message. It's not false. I'm a goddamn snack. Um, (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, yeah. Without further ado, you know we love to give out those free games. So, Maya, what is Twitch giving us this month of July? Anyway. Oh, okay. Because... No, it's, it's like June. That's why I looked. It's like, wait, why is he? Anyways, that's beside the point. Um, so this month's free game is available from now until July thirtieth. Is Turok Two, Bad Sea, Ooh, Dark Devotion, Kunai, Grip Combat Racing, Dear Esther, and Melbit's World. I wonder what Kunai is about in Dark Devotion. It sounds like some type of scary indie game. Mm. Well, at least Dark Devotion does. I don't know about Kunai. Kunai, I believe, is that um, platform 3D kind of game with the cat ninja. Uh, I, be- I think that's what it is. Because <laughs> the name sounds familiar, and I think that's what it is. Um, I haven't played a good Turok game since 64. Uh, Ooh, grip. Right old man. What? 64 <laughs> is not old. So, whatever. You know, you right. That 64 ain't old. You old. I'm not old either. <laughs> but I haven't played Turok since 64, and I was probably like, I was a kid back then. Um, whatever, Bridge. Talking about some 1964, <laughs> you mean. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Turok was okay. Selection. I would say the best game out of that whole selection is probably Grip. To me, it's probably Grip. Um, I was about to say you can't go wrong with a racing game, but yes, yes, you can. What was that damn game we was playing? Rain was that? Uh, Need for Speed Heat. No, it was Dirt Rally no. uh, too. Yeah, Dirt Rally. Yes. Yeah, he was that's, good. That's ain't it. I still love Heat. I still play it. You just he made me mad. Yeah, I got defeated and frustrated. Yeah, but that's kind of different. But Dirt, it wasn't it. Nah. I do got to show you a video, though, of somebody playing Dirt with a, um, a, a steering wheel controller. Like, hmm. they had a whole, like, setup controller for it. And yeah. uh, you gotta see how badass she she drew the hell out of that car. I ain't gonna lie, she she drew the hell out of the car. I think yeah, mm-hmm. I think if I had a steering wheel, it would probably been better. But yeah, it wasn't it. They <laughs> said, "Ma'am, don't disrespect Need for Speed like that." So, just letting you know, Pink. Uh, but yeah. Uh, moving on to PlayStation. Uh, AJ, what was free games for PlayStation? PlayStation games free that are free for the month are Rise of Tomb Raider, Erica, and you know my favorite, the one that people were scared to play, NBA 2K20. So I will be teaching Pinky sometime this week how to work the controllers and beat her like I beat everybody else. So. You can pick it up this week. You want to smoke, come holler at me. Be here all weekend. And I think, uh, the, well, I'm interested in playing Erica. Because that's like a movie, but you can enjoy. Like they said, that's a good family game to play. It's because it's basically okay. a movie, but it just has oh, okay. um, certain controls. Like you can choose the the way the story goes. Um oh, okay. And if I'm correct, the Tomb Raider game is the last Tomb Raider game, right? That mm-hmm. came out. Yep, the very last one. So I didn't play that one, so I, I'll probably enjoy playing that too. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta finish playing it. Yeah, it might be good. I'm sure Mrs. Panda will love that game too. Um, but I am interested in Erica. That that looked like it might be a good game. All right, and how about Xbox, Miss Pinky? 
Well, you Xbox folks out there, some good sh stuff on the list. Let me tell you about it. Right now, it will be WRC8 FIA World Rally Championship. Okay, it's out right now. So it's uh, from July 1st to July 31st. My Xbox One. My favorite, well, the third, but <laughs> Saints Row uh, 2 is out now. And it's a short period of time for this one. So y'all get on this uh, as soon as possible. July 1st through July 15th on Xbox One and Xbox 360. Uh, 360. Um, Dunk Lords. Uh, that won't be available until July 16th, and it will be from then to July 15th on Xbox One. Mark your calendars for that one. Uh, and as well as Juju, uh, same time, July 16th to July 31st on Xbox One and Xbox 360. So you make sure, guys, <laughs> you get these. Um, the ones that's coming out a little later, just make sure you, you know, mark your calendars. Ready to get set. But yeah, I was telling Green, um, I really like Saints Row the Third. That was like my one of my favorite little games um uh, that we was able to play with together in a co-op uh game. It was really, really fun. Mm-hmm. It's it's fun. It's just very hard to if you want to stream it, it's it's kind of difficult because I yeah. tried to stream what was, that? <laughs> was it reelected or whatever the hell it was? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. You know, there's certain parts that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but it, Saints Row 2 is kind of like before all of the real silliness. So it's a, an actual kind of serious game. It's, it's really uh, GTA-like. Um, so that might be a better game to stream, um, but it is a good game nonetheless. I don't know what the hell Dunk Lords is. I'm assuming it's just an arcade. Game. Yeah. I think it is a game. Um, Juju obviously looked like a kid's game. Yeah, it is. I checked. I checked on my brother's uh, Xbox. It's a little kiddie game. And... Dunk Lords is like uh, it's like a NBA Street. No, it's like three v three for the PlayStation, but yeah, and. It's just... Usually dunking around and everything. And WRC eight is um pretty much like dirt rally. It's exactly like dirt rally actually. Um, it's okay if you're into that sort of thing, but um, if you like uh, actual traditional racing car games, um, it is probably a little bit too much of a simulator for you. Um, I think the best simulator. In the world right now is uh, Gran Turismo, um, but if you have an Xbox, and you don't have a PlayStation. WRC and other car games is pretty much um, where you want to go with that. So you know, yeah, there you go. All right, and as always, my likes to give you guys some education on uh, the history of uh, gaming. So, what is our history lesson for this week, Maya? So, this week, um, we're going to be talking about kind of how, you know, how always production of games, you know, changed, you know, our life back then. So, today, um, I found that produced between 1976 and 1983, this, these second generation consoles, such as the Atari VCS, or you may know it as the Atari 3600, Mattel's Intellivision, and the ColecoVision featured interchangeable game cartridges that were retailed separately rather than the games that came preloaded in the unit. This advance allowed users to build a library of games. There was soon a wide variety of games to choose from, but ironically, this surplus proved to be one of the key reasons that the industry faced a serious crash during the 1980s, early 1980s. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, with that being said, you guys have been educated. You guys know the teams. You know the free games for this week or month, I should say. Let's get into the nitty gritty. We're gonna start off with a little bit of something light. Um, 
Uh, AJ, why don't you take the reins since this is more of your expertise than anybody else's? All right, the today's story is the promotional pack that you get with 2K21 and with the Mamba Edition. Mind you, before you buy the game, please go check the video out on the website that I made. That's so y'all can get better details if you're, you're going to watch this live and we hear it again. Make sure you listen through the whole podcast, please. So let's get right into it. Now we have four covers. Damien Lillard is on the standard edition. I'm going to give you the two current, current consoles editions right now. Current edition for the PlayStation 4 are Damian Lillard Standard Edition. The Mamba Forever Edition is Kobe number eight. Now, with that, with the Standard Edition Damian Lillard, you would get 5,000 5, VC, 5,000 My Team points, 10 My Team promo packs per week, per week. This is the pre-order. This is the pre-orders. Please listen. You get six My Career Skill Boosts, five My Career Sneakers Collection, Damian Lillard Digital uh, Collection, three My Career Gatorade Boosts. Now, that's the Standard Edition. The Legend Edition you get is, now, the Mamba Edition is $100. The mom, both Mamba editions, we don't get into to the standard on the five in a minute. But both Mamba edition is a hundred dollars, and the standard Damian Lillard edition is sixty at, on current gen. So the Mamba edition, you get a thousand VC, a thousand my team points, ten my team tokens, ten yeah tokens, six sixty my sixty. Skill boost, 30 Gatorades, 40 my team promo packs, Damian Lord and Zion my team cards, my pair of sneakers, a my pair of book bag, and a, a Kobe a digital collection. So that's for the, the Mamba edition. The Mamba edition is the stuff I read off to y'all is going to, is, is going to be is going to be cross all platforms. That's all. That's all. That's all you're going to do in in cross platform as well. So now let's get into PlayStation Five Edition. Now the one the Zion cover they went up. It's not 60, it's 70 hours. So, and you get the same, you get the same stuff as the Damian Lillard edition. And the Mamba edition, the Mamba edition, where is the last game of Kobe that I can't really sit up here and, and, explain why I didn't put it in my video because it hit home so bad. So so yeah that one's a hundred dollars. So with the only thing that will be transferred over is your VC at this at this current time. At this current time as we're doing this podcast, only thing that will be transferred over is your VC. Now to the people that are planning on getting the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series late, if you buy the Mamba Edition on current gen, the digital version, you will get a code sent to your email to download it onto your uh, PlayStation 5 and your Xbox One. Now, if you're a collector and you want the Kobe edition, you will get a code. You will get a code in the mail 
with the that's so you can go pick it up from your nearest GameStop or your nearest Best Buy. Go, go on, Green. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, what do y'all think about it? I get it. I want to see if I can get the case from GameStop. Mm. Just free. I just want the case. I'm not going to play it like that. So just give me the case. Both of them. Both cases for free. And you ain't gonna have, and I don't need the game in it. None of that. Well, I don't think the... Uh... I don't think they showed any gameplay for it yet, so. I haven't seen any, no. Um, no. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, uh, yeah. I haven't seen okay. anything. So. It's cool. Um, I think it's, I think we was all expecting them to put Kobe Bryant on at least one of the covers. Um, uh-huh. He's been on there like three or four times anyway, so. Um, right. Yeah. So it'll be a good little thing. Um, I don't know about how I feel about the the upscaling price. So supposedly the next gen is supposed to be seventy bucks. The standard edition, the standard, the standard edition with the Zion cover is seventy dollars because of the hardware they put into this into the five. That what no. that what Ronnie said. That what Ronnie said on caffeine last night. No, I'm cool. That's fine. So, um, I I don't see why you would pay seventy dollars extra. But if if every game is going to be seventy dollars, then cool. But if other games are like, nah, we sticking with the sixty, then I don't see anybody uh, paying seventy dollars just for this one. Um, so if seventy dollars ain't the new but, norm for games, I'm I, I can't really see anybody paying. Oh, but like I said, if you get if you get the digital one on the current gen Mamba edition cover, you get the digital version. The standard edition will be will be on your five. You won't have to pay for it. You won't have to pay for it. So you you're spending a hundred dollars. You most of, most of the most of the community is going to get the Mamba edition regardless. They're not caring about Zion. They're not caring about Damian Lillard. They want that Kobe, and they want it's the last cover for Kobe. So everybody that I talk to in the community, they're saying that they're, they're most of the community is buying both the eight and the twenty four. So they're out. They're saying. That they're going to spend the two hundred dollars on the game. Well, I remember back in not not that not that it was that far back um, when metal cases were a thing. I don't know if they still make them for games anymore, but they used to be. Uh, they used to though, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, like every game used to come out with that for either pre-ordering it or for getting a special edition or something like that. Um, I know Assassin's Creed had one, mm-hmm. and I had it. I don't know where the fuck it is, but um, you don't, you don't care. I care though. I I care game developers and, and yeah, I care. Mm. <laughs> Make no. the metal. Ones. <laughs> no, I, I I like the metal ones because I think those are good collector ones. But I haven't seen any this gen. Like I no. haven't. I don't yeah. know. So maybe they stop the making them. But this probably would have been a good idea for. TK to the, to, the, to the community that wanted Kobe and GV on the cover. I'm sorry to tell y'all this. It's with the Kobe estate and Vanessa. They did not want to put GG. Vanessa specifically told the developers they did not want to put GG and him on the cover because it hit home so bad to the world. It a it a started like. She just started crying and all the other stuff, and she don't know if that money would go back into to his foundation, to his school. But Ronnie said this last night: all the money 
that they make off the Kobe edition is going to the Mamba Foundation. Even if you going ahead and buying VC, if you're going to spend that 200 on VC, that's where it's going to. It's not going to, it's not going to take two and it's not going to uh, 2K Sports. It's going directly to the Mamba Foundation. So if y'all got a problem with it, take that up with the state and Vanessa Bryant. Okay. And so, yeah, um, I'm assuming this is coming out September 4th. Yeah, the pre orders. That's the pre orders. The pre orders was the second of this month. So, but. Like we said in the last podcast, uh, two, three, four podcasts ago, Sony is not sending out a lot of those PlayStation 5s. So be wet, be warned. If you don't get that PlayStation 5, you still have the Mamba Edition on the 4 that you can still get the digital version on the 5. So. Okay. All right, we'll see if there's anything else that comes out. I think I think that's pretty much it because September is like two months away, a month, well, less than two months away now. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out. Um, but in other news, uh, some actual gameplay, I guess, of games coming out uh, is going to be for you Xbox users. Uh, so for all you Xbox players, um, Xbox is holding a week-long Summer Games Fest demo event with over Damn. 60 games that you can play before they come out. 60. Um, so for, you know, some new games. I don't know if they're t- necessarily games that's going to come out on the um, Series X, but uh, they should be, I would think. Mm-hmm. Um you can play 60 games from the from July 21st to July 27th. Um, normally, <laughs> normally they have games that's like already came out, and you can play demos for them before you buy them. This time they're coming out with demos that you can actually play before they actually come out, and you can decide then if you're going to buy them when they come out or whatever, whatever, or pre-order them or do whatever, whatever. Um, that event is once again from July 21st. Through the twenty seventh, uh, I kind of like this way of things. What do you guys think? I don't mind it at all. I just wish <laughs> we could do something like that. Because for the most part, um, the demo section that we have is our games that, like you said before, there's games that's already out, um, is or been out for a while. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I would not mind playing. You know, sixty games. On the demo for free, <laughs> that's about to come out. I, I, I think that's a good idea. That that really is because you're allowing everybody to get a chance to play rather than just you know the big wigs and the um the gaming industry. That that's kind of like I mean not to hate or anything like that, but kind of like yes men because they want stuff for free. You're actually allowing people that have enough. Um, since to say, no, I don't like this game, or yes, this game is amazing. I can't wait for it to come out. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's a good idea. It's a great idea. Okay. Yeah, I think so, too, especially because, you know, if um, we're playing the demo, we can give the um, the developers, you know, uh, kind of like, not like bad criticism, you know. Just but, overall feedback. Yeah, like con- constructive criticism, and be like, "Hey, you know, I didn't like this about the game, or you know, I think this could be done better." Or so I think, you know, like you said, that would be great, you know, for especially for PlayStation when like their exclusives and stuff comes out. I think that'll be good too. Oh. And Bridge said that's a yeah. W for Xbox. 
this is a big win for Xbox. Sage said, yeah. what did I miss? Uh, you missed the story. This probably would have been for you because you play Xbox. But we were just talking about the um, the week-long Summer Games Fest demo for Xbox where you'll be able to play 60 games, at least their demos. Uh, you'll be play, able to play um, 60 demos of games that will come out um, soon. So that's good for you, Sage. You might want to look out for that. Yeah. Um, and what was the dates of Game Green? Um, it's going to be from July 21st through July 27th. And so, mark your calendars. <laughs> got a week to play 60 yeah. demos. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so I thought that was pretty good. Um, I don't think PlayStation will do it. I don't think they will. Only because, um, and we'll, it's one of the things I wanted to talk about uh, in our open discussion um, section. Uh, but, uh, I don't think they'll do it just because they want everything to be a surprise. And most of the games that are, like, top tier for PlayStation are adventure mm -hmm. games that has a deep story. And Sony is one of those companies that really like you to enjoy the story mm -hmm. once you buy the game. So once you actually get the full game, then they like to give you the full story. They don't really like to give out bits and pieces of it until it's um, fully in your hand. Um... So, yeah, that's a, uh, that's a good thing. I, I think, I think that, uh, once again, the Summer Game Fest, um, demo event will be July 21st through July 27th. I don't know the update times for, um, Xbox or when they start to update their store, but I'm sure Xbox players, you, you're pretty used to the time now, so you Whenever they upload it, go ahead and start downloading all 60 of them badass demos. Um, it's the games at the same time. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, on to our main event story of the day. Um, I was actually very surprised to see that um, this was actually going to happen. Just because I was kind of like... This might be a little bit too deep for this game. Um, but they did it, and it was good. I sat and watched it. How many times? did We we watched it probably about Twice. three or four times. Something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but Fortnite showed um, the, the um, streaming event We the People and Party Royale um, all day yesterday for 4th of July. Um, we the People was a... Um, I, I, I want to say documentary, but I, I want to say it was more of a conversation um, with uh, four people of color who have a very dominant um, uh, position in the culture and who also know a lot about um, what it is to be black in this country and how we can improve not only the justice system, but also the way of life that we live in, in America. Um, it was a very good discussion. Um, of course, you can tell it was, you know, a COVID-19 sort of feel to it where everybody was on webcams and things like that. But it was very well put together, very nicely documented. They even showcased, um, who was the rapper? Was it the baby? No, not the baby, Lil Baby. Lil Baby. Mm -hmm. Um, his new, uh, Single, I guess. Uh, uh, I don't know. It was per se a um, a single. I think he did it in um, just for his, the yeah, get the message out. Which I I really applaud him for doing that because he took his platform and used it, you know, in a good uh, good way to let people of his age group know, like, look, this is serious. Even though they know it's serious, he just want to make sure that they know, and I I can appreciate that. Yeah. It was, I, I'll, I'll go further into my um, opinion of it later, but uh, what did you guys think about the event We the People in Fortnite? Uh, for me, um, I get this. It was really, really nice to see. Um, I don't think it was too deep because we, we have to let our kids know what's going on. We, we can't sh uh, shy away from it. The 
issues at hand, at hand just to protect their youth, they have to be prepared for it because it's going to happen. Um, Sally said it's going to happen. So we need to, um, to let them know what's going on. Hey, baby, this is going on in the world right now on top of COVID-19. <laughs> this is what we're facing. Um, and we have to be prepared. You have to be prepared. So my people or children, you know, that's not uh, of color. I think this was something bigger for them too as well. So they can understand like, oh man, this is going, you know, this is what's going on. You know, I have friends that I really care about that's, you know, there are people of color and, you know, wow, they have to go through this. And, you know, so that'll teach them a, a lesson too as well. So I think Fortnite really, really did something. Um, so I, to see that, I, I, it, it warmed my heart a little bit. It, it did. I'm not gonna lie, especially, you know, being a, a mommy gamer. I have two babies, <laughs> especially my son. He's, he's playing Fortnite, him and his cousins. So um, it was really nice uh, for them to, well, I have to let them see it. <laughs> I have to sit them down so they can see it because um, they were at their cousin's house yesterday. So uh, he missed the show. So I was able to record it. By the way, it's on my YouTube. <laughs> that's what I was mentioning earlier so I did record it it's on my YouTube so if anybody is interested in seeing it um it's there uh, the end part kind of cut off on it uh, when I record it so I do apologize for that um but what it was uh they had gave resources on how you can uh partake helping uh getting funds to to different uh charities you know, for uh, people of color, Bell uh, projects, stuff like that. So I kind of hate that was left out of my recording. But if you need information, Google is your best friend. So make sure you check that out. I was really, 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 really happy to see Killer Mike. Because when I seen Killer Mike, that's how I knew it was real. Um, for you all that don't know, I am um, a community activist. I was boots on the ground. Actress Green, no, I was on boots on the ground. <laughs> so uh, to see Killer Mike, because he's boots on the ground, to see him on it, you know, talking about everything. Uh, he even shared a story that his uh, great grandmother, uh, so it will be what his great great grandmother was a slave. That's how he said, this is how close it is to home for me. My great great grandmother was a slave. Her mother, or uh, she taught her daughter how to sew buttons on, you know, on shirts. She taught him how to sew buttons on shirts. And so I'm like, damn, that really hit home because he's not too much older than most of us. You know what I mean? I think he's like in his 40s, um, probably almost touching 50. So that's really close. So, I mean... <laughs> We, we really do have to pay attention to the timeline. You know, it, it really never ended. It never was great. So it was really close. So I did, I appreciate Killer Mike giving his insight and his information and stuff. Um, he mentioned a couple of apps. I don't know if they're black owned. I'm researching to see if they are, uh, but he was, you know, saying that he is in communication with people that needs to get inf certain information. So that was nice. Um, again, with a uh, little baby, that was dope. His, um, his performance, and let me make it clear, his performance that he did, it, it wasn't for the event. He already had this, um, this song out. Uh, I think, let's see, so it's July. I think it's been, been out for about a month now. So that was actually my, uh, first time hearing it from beginning to, to however long they cut it, uh, because I've heard snippets of it. Um, I've seen visual of it, but that was my first time actually sitting down and seeing it and hearing the message he was telling. So the message that he was giving in that was really, really dope and really, really deep. It wasn't too over the head for the kids not to understand it. They got it. So that's good. And I know a lot of, um, like I said, people in his generation listen to him and as well as the younger uh, generation under him listens to him. So that was good for him to voice that using this platform to to use that so that was really nice um 
And also this was uh, brought to, uh, to Fortnite by uh, Opus United. Um, also, let's see, it was uh, Van Jones and uh, I hope I'm saying her name right. Jamili Hill, they were the two hosts. And like I said, Killer Mike uh, was being interviewed by uh, Jamil. Jamili, I, I hope I'm saying her name right. Um, I'm so sorry, Queen, if I'm not saying it right. It's Jamil and, uh, Hill. Yeah. Jamil oh, okay. Hill. So oh, uh, she was uh, interviewing Killer Mike, and Van Jones was actually um, interviewing Elaine. Uh, and I didn't know that. Well, her her time there could because she's a former um, editor in chief for Team Vogue. I <laughs> I did not know that. I didn't know that. I'm glad I know now because it makes me feel a little bit more better that I was so into Team Vogue when it first came out. Um, because I was, I used to be, uh, into a plus size modeling back in the day. And I would gear up these magazines to get inspiration for, you know, photo shoots and stuff like that. And to see that a black woman was behind that makes me feel really, really, really good. So yeah, she, uh, was the, uh, former editor in chief of Team Vogue. But that's the ten now. That's your ten now. So yeah, the, uh, the event itself, it was on... Fortnite's uh, Battle Royale portion of the game. Um, all you had to do is, uh, well, I, I was going to say hit the square button, but I don't think Xbox has square <laughs> buttons. So uh, all you had to do is switch it to um, We the People because they already had it in their special um, section already for it. It was uh, separate from the actual, you know, solos and duels and stuff like that. So it was separate from that. It was actually like part of the Party roy uh, Royale part. So you, you know, you get in the game, part of Royale, and uh, they were showing it every other hour uh, because initially it started at 8.46 Central Time, which was um, the amount of time, eight minutes and 46 seconds that, uh, that that man, officer, I can't think of his name, um, the officer had nailed on uh, George Floyd's neck. So from so from 8:46 every other hour after that they showed it but it was it was pretty dope you know it was um about 45 minutes long and um got a, got a lot of information out of it so it was i think it was really really nice i think it was really really nice anybody else okay mm -hmm. I missed it but if y'all said it was nice, it was decent, you know, and... I thought it was decent. It was really nice. It was it good. Was, well, if it's all that in a bag of chips, then it was all that in a bag of chips. So, yeah. Okay. Um, it was nice to see... Uh, it was a lot of Fortnite players in there, too, which was surprising. Um, I didn't think this was appropriate beforehand when I first read about it. I didn't think it would be appropriate for Fortnite as a game. Um, but I see why they did it for Fortnite. Um, because it, Fortnite is a game of youth and this is probably information that needs to be embedded in the youth a little bit more. So, um... I was kind of concerned with whether or not the youth would receive that information correctly. Um, so I was happy that I saw a lot of Fortnite players play it, get into it, um, get motivated with it, and things of that nature. Um, so it, it, was, it was overall... A great and amazing uh, event. Hopefully, they do more stuff like this. Uh, we we've been saying that since uh, the Travis Scott thing. Um, it seems like they they're having more events where um, it's obviously geared towards what's going on 
in today's society. Um, so yeah, uh, kudos to Fortnite. I don't like your game still, but you know. <laughs> After all this green, you still don't like Fortnite. <laughs> what more do they, do they have to do for you I, to understand? Look, we got your best intentions at heart. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't like swimming around and sharks eating me, but you know, cool. Like, I will definitely go play it just to watch stuff like this. So that's cool. I, I'm cool with that. Um, it kind of reminds me of a uh, PlayStation Home used to do, where they used to show anime um, movies and stuff within the game. And I didn't quite, like, care after a while unless my friends were on, but I would end up going to home just to watch the movies with other people. Um, so, it's the same thing. Like, I don't like this game, and I'll only play this game with y'all. But <laughs> when they have events like this, I can actually go in there by myself. I can load it up by myself if y'all aren't on or whatever, whatever, and just watch it. So that's what I mean. Like, they need to have more stuff like this. Like, if they had, like, little events where I can just go in and watch it. I don't have to worry about people <laughs> shooting and all this other shit and sharks they do, jumping they out. They actually have events now. It's, it's more so, like, excuse me. Like, do you remember that one music with... It was, it was Nate Diplo and the two other dudes. Yeah, oh, they have events man. like this. Um, uh, per se, but this one right here, this was this was really really nice. It was really nice for Fortnite to do this, especially yeah. for kids too. And I wish there was more people watching it when I was doing it because um, I was watching it like like Green said about three four times, and both times that uh, I had kind of like just sat down and and watched it it was about maybe six people or six uh characters with me mm -hmm. so i wish it was more but then again you know it's been playing all day so they probably seen it at you know different times but just if someone just seen it that's all i care about you know as far as the kids go as long as they seen it uh, yeah that's all i care yeah, like I said, it was pretty cool. Um, the music video looks interesting. I actually um, look for it on YouTube. I couldn't find it, but I'm sure I'll find it sometime today. Um, oh, yeah. That's all I had. Um, I have a, another topic I wanted to talk about, but I'll wait for it a little bit. Um, did you guys have any other games you guys want to talk about or any events that happened y'all want to talk about? Or anything y'all want to talk about in general? Uh, I don't think any more events really happen um, in the gaming community. I, I that big update that Modern Warfare did this past uh, week was really killer. But okay, <laughs> um, they had an update this week for I think more so for Warzone. Um, and I want to make this clear too: place or Call of Duty, you guys do not need to force us. <laughs> to update if we put our playstation in rest mode that's for the updating just do it there don't we have to physically because that it messes up um you know plans that we had we got to physically uh upload or um, yeah upload the update uh but other than that we got a one free map uh, which was Cheshire. Fire. Yeah, you got that. It's cool if um if anybody plays it. Um it's a really good marksman map. It's, small um, it's a small, it. it's a smaller map. It's not that small. It's not shipment small. It's not uh well I can say it's rust small. I can definitely say it's rust small. Maybe yeah. even smaller than rust. It's not shipment small, so it's really nice. Um it looks like extension from Piccadilly because I noticed one of the buses had Piccadilly on it. So I think it's an extension from uh, the Piccadilly map. Uh, and uh, we didn't we didn't get any free guns or anything like that. But yeah, most of the other update uh, or parts of that update was for Warzone. Um, I don't play Warzone like that, so I'm not sure what was all available on that side. Um, uh, it's a 200 Battle Royale Quads gotta update the quads gotta update the it's a two hundred battle royale and the 
one, the 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 thirty feet, thirty v thirty got updated as well. The one you see me, Green, and Mario, and Bridge play. Oh, the team deathmatch joint, the Warzone. Yeah. What's it called? Warzone mm, Rumble. Team Death Match. Yeah, Warzone Rumble got a major update. The co- I think I've yet to play that. I don't think I will. I, I think they closed it in more because so I mean, it, they, it was just a sniper's fest. If you if you didn't have a sniper, you're gonna die. I liked it. I mean, I did pretty good with the LMG on there. Um, I my thing is, um, Warzone Rumble was pretty much Warzone. I mean, um, pretty much uh, Ground War, just with more people <laughs> on it. That's 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 all it was. Um, so if you play Warzone, if you play, um, Ground War, um, then Warzone Rumble Ooh. should be good. They just change it to a team deathmatch instead of a capture the flag type style. Mm-hmm. That, that was the only difference. Um, but yeah. Anything else you guys want to talk about? I'm not playing Warzone. <laughs> <laughs> also, Call of Duty need to fix the, uh, how they want us to update the game. You know, like we up, like we update the entire game, but then have to go in and re-download a, a certain pack, or oh yeah, you know, and just like, just yeah. just put it all together, you yeah. know, like Cause... stop making us, you know, download not download, but update the entire game, but then come in and still can't play because a map pack has been updated. That should be included in the update. By itself. And speaking of that, yo, Activision, y'all gotta get your team, so your 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 support team on be on on the top of this stuff. Cause one of the homies was trying to read out and tried to do the update, and he still hasn't got in. And he's been waiting almost three weeks for y'all to respond back. So he tried to he tried everything in the book to get. My work for the week to even update, and it's still not updated to this day. So, get your team, get your support team together. Okay. Um. Anything else? Anybody in the chat want to talk about something, or want us to talk about anything? Um, <laughs> while we wait for that, I do have this. Uh, PS Five came out with a. Uh, well, IGN actually came out with the list. Of uh, confirmed games, they came out. Um, I-, I love you too, Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a topic, but <laughs> thank you. <laughs> she also says she loves Maya. Uh, AJ, I love you. Uh, <laughs> so I love you too. <laughs> um. Some of the PS5 games that were confirmed were pretty much, uh, you know, we well, actually all of them I think we knew about. There's some games we still don't know about, um, obviously, but they at least came out with some um, time frames of when stuff comes out. Um, I did not see Call of Duty on that list. Mm-hmm. I yeah. looked at that list twice and I still didn't find it. I thought they had to refresh the website and put Call of Duty on there, but they didn't. Oh, to the Madden fans out there, you know, listen to us. If you buy the Madden edition digitally, once again, you're digital, you will, everything will transfer, transfer over for free. So to you, to you Madden people out there that, that's getting Madden on the floor and you're waiting for your five to come in, everything will be transferred over so just all you have to do is save it to the cloud and and just re-download Madden for free then your stuff will be over there you'll be straight that's what i wanted to tell you okay um but yeah um the games that was on there uh speaking of call of duty call of duty hasn't really announced what game they're coming out with this year which is getting me kind of weird because it's july now yeah, yeah, my blood pressure can't take it. They didn't come out with a story mode uh, trailer or anything. Like, they didn't come out with anything. 
Hmm. It's weird. It's almost as if they're waiting for the price of the consoles to come out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like the rest of us. <laughs> so um, about right. this kind of seems like all of the industry is like kinda in cahoots with each other right now because we're not getting mm-hmm. information on anything. No. Like we still don't know how much the PS5 and the Xbox are gonna be. We don't know ex- the exact date of when they're coming out. And remember, like, if it's going to be, like, above 300 people kind of got to pre-order that shit so they can save up. It's, pre-ordering is late way. Let's just put it, like, that way. Yeah. Um, so, we know it's coming out Christmas season, but how are we to, you know, you know, save up for it if we don't know when it's coming out? <laughs> Or how much it is. And they only send out a few at a time. I don't think they're sending out a few at a time. Only because they say that every year, but the only company that really exercises that practice is Nintendo. Nintendo will do it because in their eyes, if a company says we're all out of it, it means it's a great demand for it. Which it, it does work. Like when people see that, like for instance, when the Nintendo Switches were out for the last couple of months and there was none in stock, the prices for it went up. And Nintendo got a good deal of publicity from it. Um, sorry. Uh, so, if I only send out a thousand units at a time, those thousand units are going to be gone quick. Um, now we're sold out. And the greatest, hottest game system is sold out so as soon as the next one comes in we got to be at the game store and uh-huh. stuff like that but playstation is normally we're going to give you all enough to just go ahead and buy because we want to get to that uh 100 million unit sold mark asap and we can't do that by sending only a couple out at a time um so i don't think sony's doing that i don't think um xbox is doing that as far as i know of uh sony's um manufacturing company uh, actually started making PlayStation 5s I think it was the last week in June or the week before that in June. Uh, Uh So as we speak, they're making PlayStation 5s. So you think about if you count the whole month of July up until November, which is technically the holiday season, Uh um, you got about five months and seeing that they work on a Monday through Friday basis. Let's just estimate. I, I know they work on Saturdays too. But let's say Monday through Sunday. Um, and seeing how much Sony has. I'm going to assume they probably make about a good couple thousand units per day. That's a lot. Yeah. That they're going to have on deck. And then it doesn't stop just because it's released. So, within the next couple of years, they're going to produce millions and millions and millions, hundreds of million systems. <laughs> so, they'll have Donation. enough. Donation. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I don't know why they're waiting so late. Maybe they're trying to wait for Xbox to see what they say, and then they're going to drop the price just a little bit. But I'm pretty sure that's illegal to do. I thought that was a law that you couldn't do that. No. I don't know. I'm pretty sure there is a law you can't do that. You, you're not supposed to wait. You, not, you can't wait until your competitor comes out with a price and then just drop your price because of that. It's a they bad business it, practice at the least. They they did it when the first Xbox came out. Cause no, because Sony, was... Sony was already out. PlayStation 1 was out way before the Xbox One came out. Yeah, well, that I'm first Xbox. That, uh, I'm not, yeah, exactly. I was talking about that first one. Yeah, the first yeah. one was the original Xbox. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. They was waiting for them. Because I got mine, my first, the very first, that gray one, it was 
Mines was priced at, and, but I bought it. I bought uh, Donkey Kong with it, so it was not the Crash Bandicoot with it. Mines was about four at the time, so I bought Crash Bandicoot with it. So, but what I'm saying is, the first PlayStation came out before the first Xbox came out. Way before the first Xbox. Xbox didn't come out until PlayStation 2. Like, 2 era is when uh, the first Xbox came out. Then they didn't get on the same time frame until PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. That's when they started releasing the same year of each other. But before then, they was, re- they was doing it like maybe a couple months before or ahead of each other. Um, the first PlayStation came out in 96. Actually, it came out before that, but it didn't get here until 96. Um, and then the first Xbox hit 2000, mm-hmm. I think. It was like 2000 or 2002, something like that. Um, and PlayStation 2 came out around that same time. But they were still separate from each other. And then they didn't really become competitors until... Um, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. That's when they were like direct competitors because Nintendo had fell off a little bit with um, even though everybody likes the GameCube, that was really the mark of what Nintendo started to fall off for a good number of years. What? That's debatable. That's not debatable. They started to fall off after that. Nintendo never really fall. I mean, maybe here in the States, but over no. Nintendo fell off for a number of reasons. Because, one, the smaller CDs for the GameCube probably was a big mistake. And then they kept coming out with handhelds every year after that. And then they started coming out with the Wii, then the Wii U. And it was kind of like, stick to one system. like, (laughs) And then build off of that. Like, the Wii U really didn't have any issues. Um, it's basically the Switch. It's basically exactly what the Switch would have been. And I think they always wanted to gear themselves towards the Switch. But then the Wii U was kind of like a prototype that they just released. And the Wii was probably just a prototype that they released. <laughs> So, I don't... To me, Nintendo fell off after, like, the GameCube. 64 was probably the last greatest system until the Switch. Because everybody has 64. (laughs) That shit was ridiculous after a while. We don't talk about the Wii U. Wii Wii U was good, though. It just wasn't popular. I want one. I really want one. Yeah, we you have some good games on too. That's dang. Yeah. I want a DS. I actually, I want to. I do want auto on um, Nintendo systems. I want a DS, and I do want it. I don't even know if it works still though. But, hey. <laughs> that was the other issue though, Paul, was because the Wii and the Wii U had the same games that was on the DS, pretty much all the good game, like the games that people wanted, was on the DS as well. That was another issue. So, I don't know. Nintendo, they, they make good handhelds, don't get me wrong, because they beat out um, PlayStation with the handheld. And I can't really think of another team that did a handheld that can compete with Nintendo's handheld. Because Game Gear fell off, and then Neo Geo, as much as it was an amazing handheld, that never really got up. Neo Geo is old, old. Like, that's old school, old school. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I'm talking about... Uh, I don't know. And then, there was one other thing. Did y'all ever have a cell phone that was geared towards gamers? It was called... Um, what's it called? The gear? Or the net? Or something? It was pro- that I you know that, uh, that can... The recorder that uh oh that I want I want that right now. Want one. The PS Go phone I had to two seconds. What's that a phone too? The 
the PS Go? I'm, I'm missing in action. It's just. It didn't last long, though. You can say it lasts about a couple of months. Oh, I didn't even know that was a phone. I just thought it was like, you know, you didn't need a cartridge. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I thought it was. Mm. Damn, if I knew it was a phone, I would have got that shit too. Shit. That was I didn't know that. Lost in the sauce. Paul said, I was texting and playing Power Stone. <laughs> I never knew that shit. I mean, I knew they was connected with AT&T, but I thought it was just for the data so that you can download the games because that's how you play the PS Go. Was you had to download the games. Um, I didn't know it was a full-ass phone, though. Because I would have chose that over the, uh, what do you call it? The Socket 3. Did this come out great? What? The phone. The PS Go? The PS Go phone? Mm-hmm. Um, 2000, maybe 2009, maybe? Because okay. I was in college when that came out. So it had to have been like 2008, 2009. Yeah, because the PSP came out first, then it was the second version of PSP, which wasn't that different. Um... And then it was PSP Go, I think, was the next one. Because Vita didn't come out until, like, 2014. It was the PSP, the original PSP, then the PSP uh, Vita. That's the only two handhelds they had. No, they had way more than that. Because they had the PSP... I remember the PSP Go. The PSP Go was in there. The PSP... Then they had a second version of the PSP that came out years later. That was like an update or... Um, I can't remember what they added to it. They had the PSP Go. And then the Vita came out in like 2014. Somewhere around that time. And quickly died off. Even though it was a really good system. It was really good. Um, they just didn't have any games. And PSP Go was like the only one that didn't have a way to, you know, put in cartridges and stuff like that. Because it was download only. We don't talk about college. Wow. <laughs> so college triggers you, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> Some damn student loans that triggers us. <laughs> That's what it is. I still got student loans, so don't don't feel triggered. We all got it. It's cool. Um, and I don't think Xbox ever came out with a handheld, even though they were talking about it for a while. I was in college for eight years over some bullshit. So yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I understand that. Okay. But you got your education. And you made it. And that's the only thing that matters. You made it. So, don't feel triggered, feel accomplished. Because whatever bullshit that was, you overcame it, and you're over Mm -hmm. the now, so. Be proud, Paul. I'm proud of you. Yes. Congratulations. Very proud. Yes. Oh, girl. Give a round of applause for Paul. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, be proud of that. Um, but other than that, I really don't have anything to talk about. It's been kind of slow in gaming uh, news. Um, but I think within the next two weeks, there's going to be a lot of shit going on. I just have a feeling. Um, there are some topics. Oh, we can talk about the blackout, the the Twitch. Yeah, we definitely speak about that. So yeah, uh, yesterday was the Twitch blackout. Um, that was organized by Nothing Nom and as well with uh, Ruby Rose. 
if you guys um, know, they was promoting it on Twitter um, the last uh, few weeks, and yesterday was the um, the blackout. So, and I think it was it was so well. I've seen a lot of people on my following list that were doing it that I didn't think about. If that makes sense. I was like, oh, they partake, oh, they part oh, you know, I was, I was excited, so that was good, so, uh, big shout out to everybody that participated in that, that was, um, it was awesome, you know, power in numbers, it was awesome. Yeah, and, um, Paul and Maya indicated that, uh, my, uh, Ruby was gonna go until Monday, and I think a couple other people are following suit with going until Monday. Monday, right, yeah. Um... I couldn't go until Monday because I was already afraid my laptop was about to blow up. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, let me let this baby have a rest. Um, mm -hmm. But it was nice to see so many people, you know, out there fighting a good yeah. fight. So mm -hmm. I'm proud of Ruby. I'm proud of uh, female phenoms. Thank you to both of them. Um, thank you to everybody else who participated. Uh, if you're in the chat and you participated, you know, and thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate it, and everybody appreciates it. Um, yeah, that was that was that was beautiful to see, because you literally yeah. go down the list and you see nothing but the video playing. So, mm -hmm. and I even seen a female phenoms uh, stream where there was like fifty people up in there just sitting there watching it. Yeah, yeah, I I was in there too. I was like, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I did that. I was actually surprised. Yeah. I was like, all right. That's um, what's up. Yeah. I wasn't uh, able to partake in the uh, blackout on Twitch here uh, with the message, uh, but I did host, uh, I think it was Ruby that host, so um, it can be shown on there. Because I, if you know, you guys know, I stream straight from the console for now, so mm -hmm. uh, I had to do it that way. So, um, what I did was upload the video on my YouTube and uh, to show, you know, solidarity, uh, solidarity with the, with the protests, the silent protests, uh, virtual protests, if you will, as well. Um, so yeah, big, big shout out to everybody that participated. Uh, huge shout out to people that are continuing to do it uh, up until Monday. Yeah, I saw it on YouTube. I saw it on um... I saw people talking about it on Twitter. I didn't really see the video on Twitter. Hmm. Um, yeah, I saw it pretty much everywhere. So it was good. Um, I think it was a huge success um, in getting that uh, voice heard. Um, and I say that voice because we all have the same voice when it comes to this. So, hmm. um, yeah, I'm proud of everybody. I'm proud of everybody on this team. I'm proud of everybody who did it. Um, outside of this team, um, everybody that you hear on the podcast, and I'm not talking about me at this point, um, but like Pinky, Maya, AJ, you know, they all do something to kind of get that voice out. And I'm proud of the way um, they've been getting their voice out and heard um, in the community. I'm proud of them. And I'm proud that they're part of the real ones because, you know, it's good to have these type of people around you in your group in your circle um who are so willing to give their time and effort uh to causes like this and you know they don't have to of course and i know y'all don't have to uh, but y'all do it because you want to and so i just want to let y'all know i'm very proud of y'all three you know in particular thank you mm -hmm. but yeah um that's all i had to talk about uh we're going to get up out of here until next Sunday when we have another banger for you, I am sure. Um, let me see. If you haven't already joined the Discord, make sure you join the Discord. If you haven't already, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you haven't already gotten a free... Well, I'm not going to say free. Uh, if you haven't already purchased your t-shirt, uh, make sure you stop... <laughs> <laughs> you almost did it there boy you almost did it <laughs> I corrected myself uh, if you haven't already purchased your t-shirt 
uh, make sure you go over to teespring.com uh, forward slash um, stores forward slash R1G. Nafa, I corrected it. You heard me. Um, make sure you get your t-shirts. I think they're pretty cheap. I, I kept them at the same price that I did the discount because I think it was Bridge who was asking about the discounts. Um, so t-shirts are still just $20. Uh, hoodies are like 30 And the leggings, I think, are like 35 Um and then we also got a new logo. So Yes. Um so uh you know that's up on the social medias and stuff like that. And then I'll be using that for the next podcast from now on. So uh look out for that. Um and then I also have to make the t shirts for the new logo as well. Uh so make sure you get your your your, your current as you know everybody keeps saying the current gen logos get that now while they're still available <laughs> before the next gen logo comes in so uh, make sure you do that y'all know green cheap green ain't cheap it's just i, I can't <laughs> if it's free for you that means i have to pay <laughs> and i don't know where you think i'm getting this money from <laughs> Money. And think about it like this. If you support us today, we'll be able to give away free stuff tomorrow. So just lean uh-huh. on. Um, so thank you guys for coming through to another stream. Let's go ahead and get ready to get out of here. So Pinky, what are your closing thoughts? Again, guys, today is Sunday. It's a brand new week. A brand new week. Whatever you didn't get a chance to accomplish last week, make sure you do it this week. Make sure you write it down. Make sure you write your thoughts down um, so they can manifest. Anything you can um, can think of, you can dream of, you can make it happen. It's not hard. You got to make those actions work, not the talk, but the work. But yes, you all, you can catch me um, here on Twitch at Miss Pinky 313 you can also find me on Instagram, 313 Queen Pinky. You can find me on the Twitters, um, Miss Pinky 313 Play underscore. Again, check out my YouTubes, 313 Miss Pinky. Don't forget, um, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Um, I'm going to play reruns today so I can catch up on some work. And, uh, I think that's be about it. Uh, be on the lookout for some uh, videos, like I said, because um, today I'm just going to work. And, um, and yeah, that's about it. All right. And how about you, Maya? Um, I just want to say thank you guys for coming, hanging out, interacting with us, having laughs and good times. Um. You know, if, if you're interested, you know, we we still got merch, you know. Go ahead and check out our merch store. Um, also, if you want to become a part of the team, whether you want to be a writer, video reporter, or you just want to be on the stream team, please don't hesitate to contact myself, AJ, Green, or Pinky. You can even contact Bridge, you know. she She's our, our management. So... Um, yeah, well, I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. You can find me on Twitch at Maya497. Also, find me on the tweets once again at Maya with two A's underscore 97. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. All right, and AJ, yeah, man, thanks for coming out. Thanks for uh showing support and. and... Y'all can find me on Twitch at King AJ underscore 15. Once again, you can find me on YouTube. I should have a couple of videos out today. So, and I might be streaming today, so we're going to be doing that today. And you can find me on YouTube, all one word, King AJ underscore 15. And like Maya said, if you want to be a part of the team, hit up one of us, myself, Maya. Green and the Spinky, we are all open. Being us, even Bridge, because Bridge is she she covers it all before it gets to us. Yeah. 
All right, and once again, my name is Green SP. You can catch me on uh, all social medias, um, Twitter, Twitch at uh, Green SP underscore R one G. Does say Twitter and Twitch? Yeah, uh, Twitter and Instagram. I mean. <laughs> See, all this stuff is... Well, let me put it like this. I've been doing so much with everything <laughs> that everything's mm-hmm. starting to run together. So, run together. <laughs> so, like, so, and I'm still tired. So leave me alone. Anyway. <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> Twitter, Instagram, GreenSP underscore R1G. Um, Twitch is um, GreenSP underscore uh, Facebook is Green SP. Um, I'll pop right up. Um, make sure you check out realonesgaming.com. Uh, Potter has um, Potter has a couple goddamn articles on there. <laughs> I just looked uh, today. Mine is not on there. I just want to make that because I had a story, y'all, that he was supposed to post last night, but he didn't. I fell asleep. Okay. I was, I'm a little soft. <laughs> I fell asleep. So Pinky's will be up there. Um, AJ's videos up there. Uh, Maya's videos up there. Um, AJ talks about the MB- NBA 2K news. Um, Maya was talking about the EA um, conference. Pinky's gonna have an article up there. Um, Potter has quite a few. Bridge is up there with the PC news and the um, good bundles for you guys. Um, Bridge is also our producer for the podcast, so give her a big shout out and you know give her applause, everybody. Um, so big shout out to Bridge. Um, and yeah, check out my YouTube and everything like that. Check out Real Ones Gaming YouTube and look out for um everything on spotify itunes and wherever podcasts are and if you're listening on spotify or itunes or you know whatever um make sure you check out the live stream every sunday 12 noon eastern standard time on twitch that's twitch.tv forward slash real ones gaming all one word all right Mm -hmm. so until next time guys you guys stay real and we will catch you guys later peace out